I've made a DNS May robot. I'm sorry guys, no, you need to go back and learn some basic science. No, there's, there's no one scientific method that doesn't exist. I, I reject the idea that I am here making claims. Why? Like, I'm not a single claim here. Um, I make observations based on my hmm. knowledge. If you wish to... And now, a reading of a comment from Max Colby. <coughs> you should leave us alone for your own sake. Because a growing number of Christians and others who still outnumber you would be happy to see you suppressed and your free speech removed. Because your community is vile as fuck and you spread lies about Christianity. If you ever want to talk about it, let me know. Oh, I know when I hear someone say that my right to freedom of speech should be removed for me simply being an atheist, the first thought that goes through my head is this person is definitely worth debating and not insane at all <laughs> you know it's it's always good to see someone who likes to accuse atheists of advocating for censorship literally advocating for censorship now <laughs> make it stop oh make it stop dean esme aka max colby this is a guy who is rather um Infamous for making ridiculous claims. One of those claims is that atheism is a hate movement. Because as we all know, it's atheists teaching their children to not trust others who don't believe as they do. Atheists say there's no proof for God. Why do they say that? They are confused or lying. That's right. Now should we hate atheists? Nope, but you can't trust them even if they seem nice. Why not, son? I know it's because I mean, it's sad, but why can't we trust them? Because atheism is full. Oh. I'm afraid it is. Love you, son. Oh wait, that that, that, that was Dean who was teaching his child to not trust atheists based on them not believing in a god. Anyway, let's see what red pill knowledge Dean has for us today that I have no doubt won't be bigoted at all. I'm gonna leave you again with these three red pills you need to take and swallow. If you're a religious man, it is time you realize atheists really do hate you and they want to control the culture to eliminate you. And by the way, they want your children. Atheists hate religious men now? And we want to eliminate them and take away their children? Dean, eat a Snickers. You become a paranoid crazy person when you're hungry. Better? Better. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers. Get some nuts. Two atheists. It is time you take this red pill. You've been coasting on Christian and other religious people's good graces for a long time. It's time for that to end. If you're an atheist, you, ha you are not in any way entitled to our respect, our trust, our friendship. You're not entitled to business relationships with us. You're not entitled to romantic relationships with us. You're not even uh, entitled to us speaking to you in public. Uh, you're not entitled to any of those. And it's time that more religious people start taking that attitude. Oh yeah, more religious people should be more like Dean here and stop trying to be nice to atheists and leading by example. I mean, what do you think Dean is? A Christian? Oh wait, he is. He is, he is one of those. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna mention again, and this is so important. This is enormous danger for everybody. This is enormous danger for everybody, uh, because the atheist movement seeks to control thought, and it's not okay. And by the way, stay away from our kids, you creepy atheist creeps. The atheist movement seeks to control thought and by the way stay away from our kids you creepy atheist creeps okay <laughs> quick question for you guys do you think dean has any self-awareness when it comes to the things he's saying at all because <laughs> i really don't think he does the atheist movement seeks to control thought all right max jr if you met another kid or an adult who told you there's no evidence for god you know that's always a lie, right? Right. And by the way, stay away from our kids, you creepy atheist creeps. Notice how many times he contradicts himself. The atheist movement seeks to control thought. So what makes math work? God. What makes the laws of physics work? God. And by the way, stay away from our kids, you creepy atheist creeps. The atheist movement seeks to control thought. What makes the laws of probability work? God. The atheist movement seeks to control thought. Atheists say there's no proof for God. 
Why do they say that? They are confused or lying. That's right. Now, should we hate atheists? Nope, but you can't trust them even if they seem nice. Why not, son? I know it's because I mean, it's sad, but why can't we trust them? Because atheism is full. Oh! I'm afraid it is. Love you, son. Notice, 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 notice. Wait, what, what was that? We, we shouldn't hate atheists. <laughs> but aren't you the same guy who thinks people should treat atheists like shit for simply being an atheist? Listen to this. I think atheism is an antidote to a cultural poison called religion. It's, um, uh, 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 and, 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 and it goes from there. Tell you what, son, um, what I want to escape, when I want to escape from atheism, I want to escape from that kind of deluded, pseudo-historical, pseudo-scientific, hateful crap. I want to see the entire culture looking at people who talk like you and say shit like that, and, at, and, and, and the, the, the nicest thing they do to you is make fart noises. The better, the, the, the smarter thing would be to throw spitballs at you, uh, refuse to do business with you, refuse to be your friend, ask you to leave the family. That, that would even be appropriate in my view if you're going to be that kind of dishonest, hateful, bigoted, and abusive. I, op I openly encourage people who are religious or just who support religious people to stop being friends with atheists, stop doing business with atheists, kick them out of your homes, kick them out of your pay places of business, mock them, laugh at them, show them no conversational tolerance because atheists are awful. They don't want to live and let live. You tell me, am I using the word wrong when I call TJ Kirk a, a bigot and a hateful one? And when I call him a bigot who can't back up his own statements by his own standards? I'm sorry, call me a whiner. TJ Kirk, you're a fucking bigot and you're a liar. I don't care that you're lying to yourself. You're still lying. And I don't care if your feelings are hurt that I called you a liar. You're a liar. And you're full of shit. And you're a bigot. One, one of the things that we're all finding, those of us, whether we're Christian or not, the atheists hate all of us. Oh, you're just, you're, you're just so right about this, Dean. It's the atheists who are being the hateful ones. Not you. Atheism is a hate movement. These people are hate move, hate hate mongers, and a hate monger in the real sense. They sell hate. They peddle intolerance, and it's time to fight back, including getting in atheist faces and getting rude to them, ignoring them, turning your back on them, mocking them, and again, I'm going to say, kick them out of the house, kick them out of your place of business. They peddle intolerance, just say, get out, I don't want any dirty, nasty fucking atheists around here. Atheism is a hate movement. I get it. I don't get it. Now, to, to be honest with you guys, while editing this whole video, I had to seriously keep asking myself if I was being trolled. I mean, I know there's people out there who are incredibly stupid. G-Man is a good example of that. There are starving children in the world, right? There might be, yeah. There might be, yes. There might be. <laughs> okay, well, you're fucking retarded. Hey, I don't see nobody and we're right done here. with you for now. <laughs> but there, there seriously comes a point when you hear something so ridiculous, you have to start asking yourself, are you being fucked with? Because I would like to think that when it comes to people in general, they at least are somewhat reasonable and have some form of self-awareness when it comes to the things they say and believe. That's right. Now, should we hate atheists? Nope, but you can't trust them even if they seem nice. Just say, get out. I don't want any dirty, nasty fucking atheists around here. I, op I openly encourage people who are religious or just who support religious people to stop being friends with atheists. Stop doing business with atheists, kick them out of your homes, kick them out of your pay places of business, mock them, laugh at them, show them no conversational tolerance because atheists are awful. They don't want to live and let live. My, uh, my own experience at being viciously uh, har harassed and having my, actually having my reputation ruined by atheists who simply wanted me ruined for refusing to be atheist with them or to march to the atheist party line. It's important that more and more people realize I'm going to say this again. Atheism is a hate movement. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Dean. It's the atheist's fault for your ruined reputation. 
not yours at all. You know, why don't you tell us again how people are too afraid to criticize atheism and then put out another video putting out some more red pills about it. We are going to begin uh, examining the atheist phenomenon entirely from a red pill perspective, which is why we're probably going to rename this channel. Just so you know, the red pill metaphor involves seeing reality for what it is rather than what it is not. Seeing reality for what it is rather than what it is not. Seeing reality for what it is.